Hi guys, Daniel from Bloomcorp here. I'm just going to give a quick overview and a comparison between the iPad 2 and the Galaxy Tab 10.1. Over this test, we're going to be comparing the internet speeds, the swiping speeds, a game in footage, which one will load faster, so which one will have the most succinct gameplay, and also the motion between the iPad 2 and the Galaxy Tab when turning on and unlocking which one you can get into fastest essentially. We're going to be starting with the internet browser just to work out which one will load up the web page fastest so we're just going to start there now and they'll go at the same time. The both buffering. The iPad 2 seems to have taken a slow lead here with the web page actually initially displaying. The Galaxy Tab seems to have come back though with a website loading up. The Both of them have got advertisements at the top. It's which one will load the thumbnails the fastest. We'll just go down, we'll go to the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.7. They're very close here. They seem to have both like got thumbnails in the right here. The Galaxy Tab just being slightly ahead at the moment. And the iPad 2 has now got all the thumbnails up, so it's slightly taking the lead. Both of them don't say they're finished, however. They both seem to be buffering still. And the iPad 2 is finished slightly ahead. I'd probably say it's going to finish about 5 seconds, maybe 10 seconds before the Galaxy Tab. Now, that's just a quick test and to see the internet speed. Now, Bloomcorp is our online page. We release articles every day and just basically check it out. Have a navigation around, see if you like it. If you don't like it, give us some tips. We've got some sites on the right here which said we take advice, get social, we see. We just send her the tips, send her the article. You can become a contributor for our website. However, we're not going to dwell on that too much. We're going to go on to our next test. Now, they both have one application available and we're going to leave it at that one application just so it's a fair test. We're now going to be moving on to the Angry Birds to test how fast it loads up and which one you can get into the gameplay the fastest with. So, they're both loading up the web pages now. Both of them are running through the web pages, both playing the Raw VR, the Angry Birds logo now, and the Galaxy Tab 10.1 seems to have displayed the game fastest. However, the iPad 2 one is a HD version, so that might slow down the processor ever so slightly. Let's just play a level which going to this one and we'll go level 10. Just play it through, and then we'll compare it with that of the Galaxy Tab. I'm just gonna have a quick go. And unfortunately I didn't win that one. So we're going to move around to the Galaxy Tab. We're going to do the exact same level, just so it's a fair comparison here. There seemed to be a bit laggish there. As you can see, it's in the top right, you've got a bit of a display. It might be because it's got a bit of an advert that it might be a bit slower. But there was some noticeable lagging in the top right hand corner. with me failing to complete both the levels. So I've had two attempts at this level and I've failed to do both of them. I'd argue that the iPad 2 was ever so slightly faster in that round, but I won't really give a distinct winner. However, in the first round, with the internet speed, I'd have to say the iPad 2 loads up the web browsing ever so slightly faster than your Galaxy Tab 10.1, and I'd have to give it a 1-0 up. We're now going to be moving through the motions. However, the Galaxy Tab here has a moving background which takes up some of the RAM, so it will slow it down. You might be able to see here that it's already using roughly 200 RAM and that's pretty much just for the active background. So that might slow down this process but we're just going to swipe through here. As you can see the swiping motion, it's pretty much immediate. Now moving through to this one, it is immediate. Obviously the widgets are large so it, it seems like it's taking longer but it's just the interface that they're using. I wouldn't say the active background is slowing it down and I wouldn't say the iPad 2 is faster than the Galaxy Tab 10.1. So I couldn't give a clear winner in this area of the competition or the comparison. However, I would say both of them immensely fast and they're both brilliant for everyday use. We're going to be moving on to the YouTube page now. We're just going to... I even clicked the iPad 2 there first and that's launched a lot slower than the Google Android operating system. Just to make it fair, we're going to go featured on this one and home. So we're going to go to your channel. So that's, that's going to be my videos on your channel. As you can see there, they're pretty much the same. It's different layouts, so this is our channel for these videos here, and this is our channel on this device here. We upgrade, we update our channel regularly with new videos. We've just recently put on the LG Optimus for all 3D unboxing. So I'm going to have to give that round to the Galaxy Tab 10.1 with the internet loading up faster. However, I would say on an average day, it's going to be pretty similar usage wise. You're going to get the similar speeds. And as you can see on the internet, they were just marginally behind each other. So I would say equally, these tablets are great tablets for each. Both of them around similar price points as well. So it's going to come down to whether you're, if you're wanting the Android operating system or whether you're wanting the OS. The OS has just got the simple idea of you've got applications with a huge application store 
but it's going to be quite limited as to what you can do with it. However, the Google one's got widgets, you've got uh, social feeds. The application store is not as strong, and it's just a different layout as to how you can do things, and a bit confusing at times. But I'd say it's going to be comparable. It's going to be probably about 1-1 one, one in this round with Draws and the iPad 2 taking the internet round and the Galaxy Tab 10.1 taking the YouTube round. This was Daniel from Bloomcorp just to give you a quick comparison between the two devices and I'd rate these the same. Check out our internet channel at www.bloomcorp.com, our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Bloomcorp and also the Twitter feed at Bloomcorp. Thank you for watching.